Welcome to the training center calf filling process for government training center on Skill India portal. Open the URL skillindia.gov.in. The login screen allows the training center to log in to the training center registration form. Enter your user ID and password. Click on the login button to proceed further. The training center cap form screen allow the training center to enter the complete information of the center. Now click on the TC registration form. Here the screen will appear where TPTC name, type of the training center and spoke detail is auto populated as fill the details while creating the new training center ID. Click on the social media link and fill the details if you have any. Fill the website details if you have any. Click on the spoke alternative number and enter the details. Name of the center principal director details. Email address of the center principal director. Contact number of the center principal director. Address of the training center you have to fill nearby landmark, pin code, state union territory, district, tasil mandal, block, parliamentary session, and address proof. You have to choose from the drop down list which you are uploading. Here, click on the browser button to upload the document. Click on the upload button to upload it. Here, you need to choose area classification, whether it's urban or rural. Enter center situated at the ground, yes or no. Click on the save next button to proceed further. Now, you, here you have to enter facilities available at the training center, type of the building. You have to choose from the drop down list type of the construction of the building, it's prefabricated or fabricated, the distance from the bus stop, you have to mention here, the nearest bus to stop details, front face of the building, approach to the approach road to the center, previous state of the building you need to choose from the drop down list, facilities available at the training centers, you need to click. Adequate power backup is available, you need to click. Whether the biometric attendance system is available, you need to tick. Type of the center floor, you need to choose from the drop down. Type of the training center wall, you need to choose from the drop down. Availability of the internet, you need to choose from the drop down list. Name of the affiliation, if you have any international affiliation. You have to fill all the details here. Enter the facility, if any, available for the differently able person. Tick and choose for, for the safe drinking water facility from the drop down, which is available at the training center. Area is equipped with, you need to tick. Avail availability of fire extinguisher, the type of fire extinguisher, you need to select. Area is displaying with first aid kit, fire safety, you need to tick. First aid kit, which item is containing, you need to tick from here. Save and next button to proceed further. Here you need to enter the classroom detail. Select the add classroom details. Enter the carpet area of the classroom. Enter the classroom is equipped with tick from the given available buttons. Classroom is equipped with projector, CCTV, air conditioner or exhaust fan you need to tick. Enter the remarks if you have any and click on the add button to add the next classroom. Details will be reflect here. Then you need to enter the lab details. Again, you need to select on the lab 
add details. Here you need to enter the carpet area, the laboratory type, whether it's digital, sector specific. You need to cho choose from the drop down list. You need to select all the facilities or equipment available in the lab. Lab is equipped with projector, CCTV, and conditioner. If we internet availability, enter the remarks if you have any and click on the add button to add, add the lab details. Hybrid training center, a hybrid details you need to enter if you have any hybrid lab. Select the drop down list whether its lab is included sector specific. Click on the hybrid equipment details. Please choose the hybrid equipped with projector, CCTV, air conditioner, or internet, and put the remarks and click on the add button to add the hybrid details. Now here you need to add the job role. Click on the add job role button, select the sector, enter the job role name, Enter if a training of the trainer ratio in the range of 10 to 30. Total number of the parallel batch you need to choose. Remarks if have any. Select if you have additional area. Yes or no. Here you need to enter the TR ID. When you click on enter. All the details fetch from the Taxila portal here. You can view the trainer details here. Select whether the trainer is full time or part time. Select the type of the resource, whether it's shared or dedicated. Click on add more if you want to add further any more uh, tra trainer. Click on the add button to add the tier, trainer details. Now here you have to map the lab with the classroom. You need to select from which classroom you are attaching which job uh, lab. Here you need to enter all the equipments related to the job role. Here it is mentioned that how much equipment quantity required from the SSC you need to fill here and click on the save next button to proceed further. Now you have to enter the reception area, the carpet of the reception area. Area is equipped with which facilities? Area is equipped with center types. Remarks if have any. Enter the placement details. Again, carpet area and the facilities and equipments available at the placement cell. Enter the washroom details here. Male washroom if you have the carpet area, all the equipments and facilities available. Here you need to mention the female washroom, the carpet area and the equipments and the area, all which facilities uh, is uh, available enter the remarks enter the other center area details here you need to choose counseling area if you have any library you need to select it the equipments which is already available add the center area type the details will reflect here if you want to add more facilities which is available at your training center like pantry parking any outside area you can choose from the drop down list and add those details also from here click on the save next button to proceed further here you need to mention the placement coordinators details the name of the staff highest qualification you need to choose from the drop down list month of the experience type of the resource Remarks if have any other center staff details, you need to choose from the drop down list. 
administrator officer or counselor if you have any you need to choose and enter all the details related to qualification and experience and the type of the resource you need to choose and click on the add center staff to add those details the details will reflect here and click on the save next button to proceed further you will be redirected to add or edit new residential facility form do you want to continue if you have any residential facility like hostels then you need to click on the yes if you don't have you need to click on the no and proceed further now this is a section where you need to upload the photographs of uh, the training centers you need to upload the app training center app which is already available at the play store The app name is a smart NSDC training center app. Now we are moving to show you the an extra which you have to submit after submitting the application. An extra two, it will be available on the skillindia.gov.in in under the knowledge bank section and center accreditation and affiliation process for government institute. You need to click to download the PDF. The PDF will open like this. Here is the annexure two. In the given format, you need to enter all the details and the annexure two document where TC has to fill the TC detail job role, SSC name, approx center area, self assisted star rating, share to the smart recommendation at the rate nsdcindia.org for according application as deem ready status. After TC, refer to the guideline, refer to the point three, after TC complete the cap filling process on the Skill India portal, the TC will share an endorsement letter as per NX2 format duly signed and sealed by registered officer from the holding department with nstc through sending email to smart recommendation at the rate nsdcindia.org now we are going to show you how to apply for scheme approval click on the login tab enter the user ID and password. Click on the login button again. TC dashboard will appear. Click on my cap submit tab. Once the TC is awarded with deem ready status, TC has to apply for scheme approval. Scroll down to the bottom, job role name shall be appear. Scroll right under action column. You have to click on the three dots from where you can apply for respective scheme. Here you can see apply for scheme tab. Click on the tab. Select the scheme from the drop down list. Select the scheme recommended by respective authority. Upload the target allocation email, recommendation letter received from the scheme or any authority letter which has permission to conduct training. Click on the browse button and click on the upload button to upload it. Click on the submit button to submit the application and click on the yes button for the approval. Now here you can see your status has been changed and it is showing that scheme approval is pending. Scheme approval is pending on the respective scheme dashboard. 
to accord the status. The respective authority has to approve the recommendation letter post which application shall be assigned to the respective Now we are showing the screen where recommendation authority approve the screen respective job role status and SSC has to accord it the status as conditional accredited. Click on the myself CAF submit tab. Here, it is reflecting that your application is conditionally affiliated by the respective scheme and marked by the SSC.